Well, a former FBI spy hunter now faces up to five years in jail after he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to violate U.S. sanctions on Tuesday. Now, the former special agent in charge admitted to taking money from an associate of Russian President Vladimir Putin in exchange for information. And he says he's deeply remorseful and never meant to hurt the U.S., the FBI, or even his family. NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter joins us now. Tom, what more do we know about this former agent, but also what do we know about his actual relationship with this Russian oligarch? Sure. So Charles Charlie McGonigal was in charge of the FBI's counterintelligence division for the New York office. It's one of the most important spy-catching jobs in the whole of the United States government. Mm -hmm. Huge mandate. Iran, North Korea, China, which in and of itself is an enormous challenge in this area. But Russia, and based on my reporting, they have not taken their foot off the gas one iota since they invaded Ukraine. So it's a huge concern for them in the New York area. We know the Anna Chapman case. They've had a number of cases in New York over the years with alleged and convicted Russian spies. And so when you look at Russia, it's particularly unique from a counterintelligence perspective. You have the SVR, which is the uh, successor to the first directorate of the KGB, their version of the CIA, their mm -hmm. foreign intelligence mm. arm. But you also have oligarchs who act, according to our reporting in the U.S. government, as an arm of the Russian mm -hmm. government, and the Russian government acts as an arm of oligarchs. So the fact that McGonagall would be involved with them so shortly after his retirement raises enormous concerns. A lot of red flags there. Walk us through the details of McGonagall's plea deal and what happens next here. Right. So he pleaded to a single count and a money laundering count yesterday tied to violating sanctions. Oleg Der Deripaska was the person that he was working for. Um, basically, he's saying, look, he paid me $17,500 to look into a rival oligarch, get derogatory information on him, and there was a potential for him to make over $650,000 wow. if he was able wow. to detail uh, some of potential Tannins, according to him, put uh, uh, assets that are apparently hidden, at least according to what McGonagall said yesterday in court. So uh, there was potential, a lot of money here on the table. He faces a maximum of five years. He does have a plea agreement. There's no signs of any sort of cooperation agreement. So, yeah, he faces some serious jail time here, uh, quite a term for a FBI agent. Yeah. You said he pleaded sing uh, guilty to a single count, $17,500. That's what we're talking about here. What do right. we know about the Russian oligarch who, act who actually gave him this money? Well, I mean, that's one of the things that has so shocked people that are mm -hmm. familiar with McGonagall and Oleg Deripaska. Deripaska is indicted by the United States government of violating sanctions. That happened last year. But he's been on the FBI's radar for over 10 years, okay. and really the U.S. intelligence community's radar for much longer than that. He was the successor in a number of, uh, in the aluminum wars, primarily in Russia, which was an actual physical kind of battle between businessmen over control of that industry. He's somebody who was one time not allowed in the United States, that he needed a Russian diplomatic passport to get access to the U.S. He's a name who's come up for a long time. Okay, but he's free. He is not in the United States. All right, NBC <laughs> News investigative correspondent Tom Winter. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.